this session let's learn the concept of a free body diagram what does a free body diagram mean free body diagram is nothing but the diagram of the body obtained by removing all the surface contacts and replacing them by reaction forces perpendicular to surface so when we consider free body diagram there we are going to represent the real forces acting on it as well as the reaction forces acting on it so going to see the examples on free body diagram so here i am considering all the sur surfaces are uh, smooth surfaces and there won't exist friction by considering this uh, uh, assumption i am going to draw free body diagram for all the figures there exists no friction all are smooth surfaces before going to draw free body diagram first we should learn for different types of supports how to represent the reaction forces first one is roller support so there is a roller on a horizontal surface for this type of support uh, how many reactions uh, we need to represent so this roller can move in this direction in this direction and in this direction but it is not able to move in downward direction therefore you need to represent a reaction for roller support only one reaction and the support is hinged support so this is the notation for uh, this is the symbol for hinged support when there is a hinged support how it will be when there is a hinged support you are restricting the motion in x direction and in y direction by the application of force when we provide hinge joint the object is able to rotate the door is an example you are connecting the door to the frame by means of a hinge when you apply force onto the door the door is going to rotate it is not going to move along x direction or it is not going to move along y direction just it is able to rotate what does it mean you are restricting motion along x direction and you are restricting motion along y direction as i am restricting motion along x direction i need to represent a reaction along x direction as i am restricting the motion along y direction i need to represent the reaction along y direction so for hinged support the symbols you will see are for roller support the symbols you will see are so this is one support uh, one uh, type of symbol and another symbol is so a number of rollers will be under the triangle shape so this is also a symbol for uh, a roller support coming to roller uh, hinged support so this is one symbol so these are the symbols uh, for hinged support these are the symbols for roller support when there is a roller support we are restricting the motion in one direction only so therefore when there is a roller support you need to represent one reaction when there is a hinged support you are restricting the motion in two directions so therefore you need to represent reaction uh, along x direction and along y direction and uh, coming to holes so there will be reaction for holes also so when there is a rectangular horizontal hole like this so if i place any object here so the object is able to move along x direction but it is not able to move y direction so therefore a reaction should be there along y direction so when i consider vertical slot here so if i place an object so that object is able to move along y direction but it is not able to move along x direction so therefore you need to represent a reaction for circular vertical slot so you need to represent a horizontal reaction so when i consider a circular hole when i place an object in that one so it is able to rotate there but it is not able to move along x direction it is not able to move along y direction so you need to represent two reactions there so rx r1 for uh, horizontal slot there will be one vertical reaction for vertical slot there will be one horizontal reaction but for circular hole there will be two reactions let me explain the concept of a free body diagram so by considering an example so i have considered an example here so on the horizontal surface there is a block like this so i want to draw free body diagram for this one so what is the first thing i need to draw i need to do if i want to draw free body diagram for this block first of all i should remove all the surface contacts and uh, i should represent the block separately that means i should isolate the uh, object so isolation means separation of object from all the con contact surfaces so remove all the contact surfaces 
draw the block separately. The first thing I need to uh, do is I need to represent the weight. Let us consider the weight of the block as W. So whatever may be the plane, whether it is horizontal plane or vertical plane or inclined plane, so always the weight acts vertically downwards. So you need to represent weight so vertically downwards through center of gravity. Next, you need to observe is there any restriction. When there is a restriction, there will be a reaction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface. If you consider this block, this block can move in this direction. Why? Because there is no restriction. So this block can move in this direction. Why? Because there is no restriction. So this block can move in this direction. But it is not able to move in downward direction. Why? Because there is a restriction. This horizontal surface is a restriction. So whenever there is a restriction, you need to represent a reaction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface. So as it is not able to move in downward direction, in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface, you need to represent a reaction. So here there will be a reaction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface. This is the free body diagram for this given figure. So the given figure is called as a uh, spatial diagram and this one is called free body diagram. Spatial diagram consists of all the applied forces and uh, uh, contact surfaces all those things will be included in the spatial diagram. When we consider free body diagram we are going to remove all the surface contacts and we are going to represent the real forces acting on it as well as the reaction forces acting on it. Let's see another example. So here there is a wooden block so there is a wooden rectangular block so which is resting on horizontal surface it is in contact with horizontal surface as well as it is in contact with vertical surface also so here i want to draw the free body diagram for this block so what i want to do is so i want to draw free body diagram for that purpose what you need to do is you need to remove all the surface contacts so remove all the surface contacts and draw the object separately so here so I have drawn the object separately. The first thing I need to do is I need to represent uh, the weight. So weight always acts vertically downwards. Represent the weight there. So which is acting vertically downwards through center of gravity. And next observe the restriction. When there is a restriction there will be a reaction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface. If you observe this block so this block can move in this direction in this direction. But it is not able to move in this direction. It is not able to move in this direction. So because of those things you can represent a reaction. So as it is not able to move in downward direction. So there will be a reaction in the opposite direction. So as it is not able to move in this direction. There will be a reaction in the opposite direction. So here there will be a reaction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface. So let us consider this one as R1. This is perpendicular to surface and it is not able to move in this direction in the opposite direction you can represent a reaction perpendicular to surface so this is the free body diagram for the considered example so it is example number 2 another example so this is a roller so which is hanging to the ball by means of a string it is supported like that so here the roller is in contact with the ball at point C, B is the center of roller and A is the point where the string is attached uh, from that point to the center of the roller. Right? So I want to draw the free body diagram for this roller. So how I can draw that? First you should remove all the contact surfaces and all the attachments. So you need to draw separately the roller. And the first thing you need to represent is weight. So weight acts vertically downwards. So this is weight, weight acts vertically downwards and you need to observe where is the restriction. So he, here if you observe the ball can, the roller can move in this direction. It can move in this direction, it can move in this direction but it is not able to move in this direction. Why? Because there is a restriction. Vertical wall is the restriction. So in the opposite direction at contact point C you need to represent a reaction. So at contact point C, suppose if this is contact point C, here you need to represent reaction. So as this is not able to move in this direction, you need to represent a reaction in the opposite direction. So I am considering as it is at point C, so reaction at C. 
Next, here it is connected to a string. So string can experience only tensile force. What does tensile force mean? So tensile force will be away from the point. So if this is the point, so tensile force will be away from the point. Compressive force will be towards the point. Compressive force will be towards the point. So when you consider a rope, so this is a rope. So when I consider this rope, when I apply compressive force, it is not able to experience that. When I apply tensile force, it is able to experience that. So that means rope can be only subjected to tensile force. So along the rope, you need to represent the tensile force T. Another example, uh, a roller resting in a right angle trough for this one. So we need to draw free body diagram. So when I want to draw free body diagram, first I should remove all the surface contacts. So here AB is a surface, BC is a surface. So I need to remove all the surface contacts and I need to draw the roller separately. And the first thing I need to do is I need to represent the weight. The weight acts vertically downwards. So this is the weight. So which will act vertically downwards through center of gravity. So here if you observe the block is not able to move in this direction. The block is not able to move in this direction. In the opposite direction perpendicular to surface you need to represent a reaction. So the reaction will be like that. So here so this is an inclined force. So I need to represent with angle. So always the reaction will be perpendicular to surface. So in the figure it is given that 30 degrees, this is 90 degrees. We know that sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. If this is 90, if this is 30, so then the remaining angle, remaining angle is going to be 60 degrees. So I need to draw a reaction force in this direction. So let us consider this one as R1, so which is acting at an angle of 60 degrees. So next, BC is a... Uh, inclined surface so because of this restriction it is not able to move in this direction in the opposite direction you need to represent a reaction perpendicular to surface this is 60 degrees this is 90 degrees then this angle is going to be 30 degrees so you need to represent a reaction in the opposite direction so that is making an inclination of 30 degrees this is r2 this is the free body diagram for the considered example. There will be no reaction here. Why? Because it is uh, not in contact with any surface at this point. Let us see an, another example. So here there is a roller which is resting on a horizontal surface. There is a rod AC and a horizontal force P is applied like that. So we need to draw free body diagram for this roller. So when I want to draw free body diagram for that roller, I need to remove all the surface contacts and I need to represent the roller separately. So this is the roller. First thing I need to represent is, I need to represent the weight. Later, I need to represent the given forces. So P is the given force, I am representing there. Next, AC is a rod. The rod may be subjected to tensile force or compressive force. You can represent compressive force or tensile force, no problem in that. Suppose if I assume it is a tensile force, okay, if I got a positive value when I solve that, uh, uh, when I solve that problem, if I got, get positive value, that means my assumption is correct. If I get negative value, that doesn't mean it is uh, wrong. So that will be compressive force. Okay, I will defaultly consider along AC. So there is tensile force. Let T be the tensile force. And given it is making an inclination of alpha with horizontal. If that is alpha, so then this is also going to be alpha. So here, this angle is going to be alpha. Observe, where is the restriction? So here, the roller is not able to move downwards. Why? Because there is a restriction. Horizontal surface, AB is a horizontal surface. It is the restriction. So in the opposite direction, you need to represent a reaction So and it is a contact point B. So therefore you need to represent RB, reaction at B.